welcome to the queue. Immediately, as soon as you enter the house, you're gonna be greeted with a stainless steel fridge, which is stocked with whatever you decide to bring for your stay. Next, you have these pantries that provide so much storage for just about anything you need throughout the house. We absolutely love the teal color. It provides a nice pop within the house. You have, of course, your Keurig for your morning coffee, a toaster oven, and your stove where you can get down. And then you also have some appliances such as a Ninja, a dishwasher, as well as your microwave. So now that we're done with the kitchen, time to check out the living room area. So here we are, a couple feet off from the kitchen, we have entered the living room. Of course, again, recurring theme throughout the house is definitely the bright old artwork. And then you have a massive 55 inch TV, perfect for any scary movie you wanna watch, sports, whatever it is you prefer. So this is just your basic standard half bathroom. You have your toilet, of course again, the recurring artwork theme throughout the house. And you do have a really nice window, um, which I can imagine would provide a lot of natural light on a nice summer day. So now that you've seen the first floor, it's time to head on up to the second. So in addition to the natural light and the artwork, we absolutely love all the little quirks that the architect has included in the home, such as these wall figurines, which are holding on to a little string climbing. You have various colors, really fun, playful, absolutely a great addition to the house and great to fill up this wall. If you want to bring someone else with you, no need to worry because guess what? There's a second bedroom in the house. As you can see, the theme of artwork carries on all throughout the home. You have some very vibrant, bold colors. You have a twin size bed, which was actually built by the architect. He built all the furniture in this house on his own, which is really cool. You have a pull out futon in addition to your twin bed. And then you have a massive, I wanna say maybe 50, 55 inch television. So no need to worry there. And then you have this door, which leads into the bathroom. So leading in from the second bedroom, we have 
the bathroom. regular stand-up shower with several jet options. Yet again, you see an example of the architect's love for art. So you have this beautiful painting in the bathroom. Standard size basin, but most importantly for us, we do not have regular access to washer and dryer. This Airbnb comes equipped with two Samsung washers and dryers. So you don't have to overpack because you can wash your clothes on the way. So from the bathroom, you are immediately transported into the master bedroom. Very minimalistic, but also very cozy and comfortable. So I guess we'll start with the highlight of the room, the massive television. So Again, you have televisions all throughout this house, so you'll never be short of entertainment. You do have, again, some lovely artwork, and you do have a bench beneath the artwork, which was, which was actually built by the architect of this house himself. So speaking of building, again here, you have this massive king-size platform bed. The headboard and the platform were all built by the architect himself. And we just love how much work he put into this house. It just really goes to show the amount of dedication and love that people put into their passion projects. So this bed was really comfortable. Right now, it's a little cold, so we're taking advantage of all the heat that we can. But in the summertime, you do have the option of opening up these beautiful windows to get a nice cool breeze in. And you also have the option of walking out onto your own personal balcony, which wraps around the house. We just wrapped up another great stay at the Cube. If you're interested in staying, be sure to check the link in the description below.